There's a total of 15 towers in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In this video, I'll be showing you how to activate them. Feel free to use the timestamps in the description if you're looking for a specific tower. Lookout Landing Skyview Tower. Now this tower is pretty straightforward. Once you've spoken with Haas at the first gatehouse, go back to Lookout Landing and speak with Pura. She'll then introduce you to the Skyview Tower and activate it for you, allowing you to scan the first area. Northwest of Lookout Landing, you'll come across Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. This tower is situated over a high rock that might be difficult to climb if you don't have enough stamina. Fortunately, tons of wooden planks can be used, allowing you to create a bridge that you can place across the water over the rocks, allowing you to climb over and reach the tower. Directly north of Great Hyrule Forest is Typhlo Ruin Skyview Tower. Inside the tower, you'll meet with Bilson, who'll inform you that the tower is out of order and is proving tricky to fix. Just outside the tower are floating silver blocks. Use Ascent to get on top of the first silver block, then use the rockets on top of the blocks and fuse them with your shield, allowing you to boost up faster to the top of the tower. Once you've reached the top of the tower, get on the ledge and use your Ultra Hand to move the silver block, blocking the terminal lid, allowing you to launch through the tower. Just southwest of Lookout Landing, Hyrule Field Skyview Tower can be found. Avoid the enemies leading up to the tower and enter inside to activate the terminal. Near Lake Hylia, just southeast of Lookout Landing, Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower can be found. Inside the tower, the terminal won't be responding, so you need to jump inside the nearby well. Smash through the giant rocks on the wall and enter. Just inside the corner, inside that room, you'll find an individual named Elmerson trapped behind bars. After speaking with Elmerson, use a scent to exit the well. Once on ground level again, jump off the south side of the mountain. Once at the bottom, enter the cave and activate the switch inside that cave to free Elmerson. Head back to the tower and the terminal will be fixed. Directly east of Hebra Mountains is Paquita Stonegroove Skyview Tower. This tower can be reached simply by flying to it while completing the Rising Island Chain. If you stumble upon this tower on foot, it will be impossible to climb the mountains due to the ice. Use the broken bridge planks near the mountainside, attach them to the broken end of the bridge and build a long wall to climb, just like this. Once on top, head inside and activate the tower. North of Rito Village sits Rospro Pass Skyview Tower. Spiky vines cover the tower and burning them is the only way to gain access. Shoot the spiky vines with an arrow and a fire fruit attached to it or start a campfire and torch the vines with anything wooden. Once cleared, the tower can be accessed and activated. Near Kakariko Village, Sahasra Slope Tower can be found. You'll meet with Bilson again who'll be confused about why the tower doors won't open. On the mountainside where the tower sits will be a cave entrance. Go inside the cave and smash through the many rocks, making a way directly underneath the tower. Use ascent from inside the cave. Once inside the tower, remove the two long sticks blocking the door and open the door. Once removed, the doors will open and Bilson will fix the terminal allowing you to activate the tower. Like Rospro Pass Skyview Tower, Rabella Wetland Skyview Tower will be enshrouded with spike vines. Burn the vines and the tower southeast of Hyrule can be activated. Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower is located at the peak of Mount Lanayru. Simply make the climb up the mountain and activate the tower. Upland Zorana Skyview Tower will be sitting just west of Zora's Domain. The tower doors are covered in muck. You must throw a splash fruit on the mud to clear it. Splash Fruit can be found near the tower. Once cleared, head inside and activate the terminal. Southeast of Death Mountain in Akala Highlands sits Alri Mountain Skyview Tower. Upon arrival at the tower, the doors will be open but the terminal is missing. Speak with Sasin and he'll direct you to shoot down the Aracuda that holds the terminal. Carry the terminal back to the tower and Sasin will fix it for activation. You'll run into Sasin again in Elden Canyon for Elden Canyon Skyview Tower. This time the terminal lid has been knocked off the tower. Near the tower you'll find plenty of fallen rocks. Use your rewind ability on one of these fallen rocks and once you've reached a certain height, glide your way to the top of the tower and jump inside the hole. Once inside, activate the tower. You'll run into Sasin for the final time at Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower located south of Hyrule near the Gerudo Desert. Grab the large metallic box near the tower and attach it to the smaller box near the tower's construction site, allowing Sazen to reach the top of the mountain to fix the tower. Once fixed, activate it. Directly north of Gerudo Desert sits Gerudo Highlands Skyview Tower. The tower entrance is buried beneath the ground, so you'll need to enter Medela's Mantle Cave near the tower. 
Use a wooden plank and allow the water to carry you directly underneath the tower. You can also use ice fruit to create ice platforms to help you align yourself properly under the tower. Once you're aligned with the tower, ascend and activate the tower. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Tears of the Kingdom content.